If you want to go hunting for Olympic white elephants, well then this is the place to be. Athens, Greece. The Olympics were born here, so when they returned in 2004, the country was flush with national pride. But today, 10 years later, pride has turned to shame, as white elephants, which can be spotted all over this sprawling city, stand as giant reminders of incompetence and waste. Are people still proud of the games? No. No. Are they embarrassed? Most of them. And we should be embarrassed. I f During the preparations for the Athens Olympics, Rena Duru was a member of the opposition party in Greece and one of her country's few critics of Olympic spending. We met her in the velodrome, one of the signature venues when the Athens Olympics opened in 2004. You don't have to obtain the postdoc, you know, in finance in order to understand that this is a white elef elephant. <laughs> this is? Yes. This is one example. Yeah, it's, it's, it's white too, you know. But there are many of these. Yeah, there are many of these. They are white, they are huge, they are nice. And they're empty? Yes. It's hard to figure out that there was even a baseball field here. This is a representative figure of uh, the post-Olympic use of uh, Olympic Games of Athens. Sotiris Triantafalou is one of Greece's leading sports journalists. We met him at this sprawling campus, where Olympic planners built costly, permanent stadiums for baseball, softball, and field hockey, none of which have been used in years. Greeks don't really play baseball, do they? No. Do Greeks play softball? <laughs> no. Do Greeks play field hockey? No. Those were three permanent facilities. Was it waste or simple stupidity? I think both. Mm -hmm.